Okay, so we're going to look at refreshing, and so we're going to break this between the old command refresh and the new command uh, refresh only across two slides. So Terraform refresh command reads the current settings from all managed remote objects and updates the Terraform state to match. So here we have the Terraform refresh, and I just want to point out that the uh, Terraform refresh is basically the alias for Terraform apply hyphen refresh only hyphen auto auto approve. So you technically have this functionality in the latest version. It's just that you can't use the old alias Terraform Refresh. Terraform Refresh will not modify your real uh, remote objects, but will modify the Terraform state. So Terraform Refresh has been deprecated, and the refresh only uh, and with the refresh only flag, like it's been replaced with it because it's not safe since it did not give you the opportunity to review proposed changes before updating the state file. So that's why the reason they got rid of it. Let's take a look here at the refresh only mode. So hyphen refresh only flag for Terraform plan or apply allows you to refresh and update your state file without making changes to your remote infrastructure. Just to really make this clear, I want to uh, give you a scenario and I want you to pay close attention here to understand the difference because this is so important on the exam and also extremely useful uh, for your day-to-day -day operation. So here's a scenario. Imagine you create a Terraform script that deploys a virtual machine to AWS. You ask an engineer to terminate the server, and instead of updating the Terraform script, they mistakenly terminate the server via the AWS console because they don't know any better. So uh, what happens if you were to run a Terraform apply versus with a refresh only flag? So that's what we'll do with and without the flag. So without the flag first, Terraform will notice that the VM is missing. Terraform will propose to create a new VM. So the state file is uh, gonna be what's considered as correct. And the changes, and so changes to the infrastructure will uh, be made to match the state file, okay? If we use Terraform apply hyphen refresh only, Terraform will notice that the VM you provision is missing, uh, uh, but with the refresh only flag, uh, it's gonna know that the, that the VM uh, uh, is missing and it's an intentional, okay? So I have a couple of spelling mistakes there, but the idea is that it knows that the VM is supposed to not be there. So Terraform will propose to delete the VM from the state file, so just the JSON code from the state file. So the state file is considered wrong and changes uh, to the state file will be made to match the infrastructure. So hopefully that makes it clear, okay?